Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're looking at Cuban Aces SU57 PACFAR module for DCS World. We tested this out several years ago and it was absolutely terrible. The thing would fly like Mac 4 and had just no dynamics. So hopefully it's been improved now. It's now April 2020. So first thing to install, come to this area here. I will issue the link in the video description. Click download and it will download. We're done there. Once it's downloaded, go and find it in the area that's downloaded. It will probably be in your downloads folder there. It's just an 80 megabyte file. Double click on the raw file or whatever it is to go in there. And you'll see this SU57 folder. Click on it, left control and Charlie to copy it. Then we're going to paste it. You must paste it in your saved games folder. To find your saved games folder, it is likely to be in your C drive. Go into your C drive, go into users, go into the user that is you. Go into save games. Now, I've actually moved my save games folder to F drive because I ran out of space on my C drive. So I'm going to go to that now. Um, it was here, save games. Uh, go into DCS or open beta DCS in your save games. Go to mods. If you don't have mods, then create it and make it just like I've shown it there. Then go to aircraft. If you don't have aircraft, create it just like I've shown there. Then paste it in there. And there is your 100 and something megabyte file uh, folder. Sorry. Click in there. This is all set up and you don't need to do anything now. But out of interest, we can go and read some documentation. Go to doc. And you can see we've got some information here. A flight manual you want to go to. Let's call that up. So we've got some RWR operations, key commands, weapon descriptions, HUD descriptions. So HUD description down here is going to be pretty much like the flight the flanker by the looks of it, to be honest, with a couple of extra little odds and sods. We've got a HUD RWR there and a engine's RPM there, and this looks just like the flanker hard here, oh, and a vertical indicator there. Missiles, interesting. I oh, should have fun testing these out. We have a KS-172 RVVL. The Novato KS-172 is a Russian air-to-air -air missile designed as an AWACS killer with ranges up to 400 kilometers. How it works in game, I'm not sure. We'll have to see. Then we have a R-77 Ramjet RVVAE. The, this missile, Russian medium and long range active radar homing air to air missile systems. It is also known by its export model designation RVVAE. It is the Russian counterpart to the American AIM 120D, presumably. There are two ver versions. There is a basic and a ramjet variant with longer range. And we have the K-77M, smarter missile for the R-77 family. The K-77M missile has an AESA seeker head and less room for error against decoys and chaff. So a more modern version of the R-77. Basic controls here. And we've got some symbology here that is slightly different to the, uh, the aircraft that it is based on. Um, that's all I'm going to show. Let's jump in the aircraft. Important to point out, this is obviously a work in progress. A lot of it doesn't work at the moment, but I think it's interesting nonetheless to uh, fly, go into the mission editor like this. We go to placement, click on airplane, place it down, find the newly inserted pack file there. And then we can go put it on the ground there. And we've got a whole bunch of weapons that we can use. So if I went to a clean slate there, outside here, we can have R-73s, RVVAEs uh, with the AES radar and the RVVM or smoke pods. Here we can have stupidly crazy amounts of weapons. All of these air-to-air -air weapons, including some of these variants, I don't even know. But we've got some uh, uh, all of that. We can have fuel tanks, uh, missiles, air to ground, KH-29 laser, KH-29 optical, KH-31, I think that's radiation, KH-31, I think that's anti-ship, KH-59 long range um, cruise missile, can't remember what the M stands for now, KH-59 uh, long range standoff cruise missile, JSAL equivalent. Uh, missiles, bombs, I'm skipped over, all the usual Russian bombs, including a CAB 1500 laser, which is interesting. Um, we've got our dispensers, we've got our mirror racks with the smaller bombs, we've got our RBKs, and we've got a nuclear bomb. Uh, rockets, our usual Russian rockets, pods, uh, no pods other than smoke and a various mixture of those that we've just looked at throughout here. So ridiculous array. I will delete that guy and go back to one that we've already put in. So I've got a mixed weapon of an R-73. I've got a Fab 250 Kilo dumb bomb. I've got an R-28 N-28 nuke. I've got a standoff KH-59 Mark II. 
An R77 without the um, Ramjet, I believe. The RVVAE with the AC radar. I've got an RVVVM. I've got a cab 500KR, I think that's optical guiding. Stand to be corrected. R73, uh, KH29 laser and R73. In terms of setting up your controls, I believe it's this is just based on the uh, Flame and Cliffs SU33. So it's going to be the same as setting up the SU33 Cliff, the SU uh, Flame and Cliffs 3 controls plus a little couple of extras. Let's go in and have a look. In terms of inside, very simple cockpit with very simple graphics uh, and it's non-clickable obviously because it is a low fidelity based on the SU33 I believe. Various gauges there that work. I've got an upper front controller here that presumably doesn't work. A couple of other gauges. We've got the HUD, We've got the VSI there and a couple of other things that we can use. Um, it's kind of kooky I suppose. In fact let's have a look at the exterior. Obviously it's got the vector thrust model, but it doesn't actually fly as a vector thrust plane. It just flies with the SU-33 or 27 DLL. So it's going to fly like a very heavily loaded SU-33, presumably. Amazing roll rate, look at that. Yeah, it feels just like a flanker to me. Seems to have fixed a really bad problem. Last time I flew it, it could go really fast, accelerate stupidly fast. It doesn't appear to be that bad anymore. Seems to feel a bit more like a plane. In terms of sensors, the radar is going to be exactly the same or will work very similar to the uh, Sukhoi is in Flaming Cliffs 3. We've got an electro optical system which we can turn on and it's going to work the same as the flankers as well. You can see it's got the knob there. I'm just rushing through this because this is just an unofficial mod at the end of the day. Some of the ground, uh, all of the air to air ordnance works as far as I can see. Let's have some fun with that. So I'm going to go to BVR, turn our radar on, zoom out, find some baddies, lock on. I'm not too far away to lock, so let's carry on. Change our weapon to an AESA. Get a little bit closer if we can. Let's see when we can lock. Okay, we can lock, and I'm in range to fire with the AESA variant at uh, 42 miles low down. So it shows how ridiculously long ranges are, but probably realistic. I know ramjet missiles fire. Pion. That's it. AESA gone. R73 doesn't work. Obviously, let's get a M version. So we've got in the air now. A, uh, the AESA ROVV and the uh, mic model ROVV. Slow that down, watch them go. Stupidly fast. I mean, I doubt they would be that fast. 3,000 knots. In fact, I'm pretty certain they wouldn't be that fast. Boom. Both went for the same target. So air to air pretty much works. Air to ground only seems to partially work at the moment. Let me know if you think I'm doing something wrong because I very well may be doing something wrong. We go to air to ground mode. I notice that we've got in the dust controls laser, but it doesn't seem to work. We've also got uh, flirt, doesn't seem to work. TV, that I can find anyway. So I'm going to select a uh, bombs and rockets will work. Select a bomb here. Hopefully, it's not the nuke. Aiming systems just the same as the flanker. Um, we've got, for instance, a. If I went back to here, I chose waypoint, uh, whatever waypoint that is. And if I then went to ground and I chose the this guy here, it's my JSAW equivalent. Meow. Doesn't appear to work as far as I'm aware. I stand to be corrected, but I think it just flies and dies. Yeah, there it goes. 
Boom. Uh, and that is pretty much what we've got to show. The laser doesn't appear to work, so I can't fire the laser. Um, that's a nuke, so I need to get the hell out of here. me dead that's all just i've got to show it's just a cheeky little work in progress uh, module better than the last time we used it at least i uh, hope you enjoyed that see you later